in the world of show business, she's become a little bit of a diva. So please help me raise the roof by cheering nice and loud, putting your hands together, and welcoming Jamaica's number one comedian, Matilda. You never told me what happened with your late husband. He died, you city click. <laughs> I know that, but how did he expire? Expire? You make him sound like a magazine subscription or something. Just tell us what happened. It's embarrassing. You can tell us. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, if you must know, he passed on during a wild night of love in Las Vegas. Ooh. You could take that as a compliment. I was in Jamaica. <laughs> He died in Las Vegas? Yes, and I buried him there. Why? Because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> you know how that is, girls? You can't wear the same things the young girls do. That one is little string bikinis. You know? Little tongue thing. <laughs> I put it on, yeah? I sat down, huh? didn't see it again for three weeks. <laughs> Then one day I sneezed. <laughs> Achoo! There it was. <laughs> Why don't you read the manual, you moron? I don't like to read the manual. I like to figure it out on my own. If they wanted you to figure it out on your own, they wouldn't give you a 500-page manual in three different languages. They just give you a note that says, figure it out on your own. <laughs> Are all men like this, ladies? He got to get every electronic gadget to come out, never figures out how to use it, never read the instruction. He dropped it, break it, lose it. You ought to see him with his cell phone. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I need to have a cell phone. What are you going to do? Call somebody and not move your mouth? Him and our damn cell phone. Last year, we're doing a show in Las Vegas. Right before they introduce us, he's yakking on the cell phone. He forgets to turn it off, sticks it in his back pants pocket, comes out on stage, middle of the first joke. The cell phone went off, and people thought he was throwing his voice out his ass. <laughs> need my picture taken after dealing with an airline. The American airline is advertising they've taken rows of seats off the aircraft for more room in coach. We flew in on JetBlue and we found the rows of seats. <laughs> Tell you. And security at the airport killing me, boy. What happened? I'm waiting in line, checking. There's a lady in front of me, girl behind the counter, asks this woman, are you traveling with anything sharp? She looked at her husband and said, not even close. <laughs> I was ready. When it was my turn, she said, has a stranger given you anything to take with you? I said, I won't know until I get the test results. <laughs> what a flight. They lost my luggage. They lose a lot of luggage. I was in my luggage. Why do you hate flying so much? I don't like all the bouncing and shaking, getting tossed around all over the place. You mean the turbulence? The baggage handlers. <laughs> they beat the heck out them suitcase. You don't see what goes on back there. You put the dog on a conveyor belt. As soon as they get in the back, they got handlers out working the wheels over, the screwdrivers out trying to pop your locks. They're trying on your clothes. <laughs> It's really that bad? Yeah, man. Why don't you say something? 
because my voice was in first class drinking wine! <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I don't have good luck with airplanes in general. We have a new tour in Jamaica, skydiving, no experience necessary. <laughs> What is that? That is called a tandem jump sky dive. Anybody heard of this one? You jump out the airplane with the instructor on your back. You tried it? Yes, man. Try that in Jamaica. My instructor was a Rastafarian. You know the Rasta man with the dog gnarly dreadlock style here doing thing? We jumped out the plane halfway down. He yelled, pull the cord! I pulled the cord, nothing happened. And I'm climbing toward her 500 miles an hour with a screaming Rastafarian on my back, pulling every cord I can get my hands on. By the time I found the right one, he only had one dreadlock left on his head. <laughs> Brother looked like a Hare Krishna. And ladies, have you noticed some of the gentlemen running around the swimming pools of the world these days with the big, furry, beach ball-looking deli? <laughs> and the little teeny bikini bathing suit? Are you with me on this one, girls? Not enough trunk for the hunk. <laughs> Here's a little fashion tip. Gentlemen, if you look down and you can't see it, <laughs> don't make us look for it. <laughs> what are you doing back there, darling? <laughs> it's a Greek ship. Let's hear it one more time for Matilda before she go and pee. Matilda and Patrick Murray. That my cheeks hurt, I laughed so hard. Oh, tonight. my cheeks hurt too. You know where his hand is? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a little hug on the way out, all right? Oh, oh thank you, darling. I love that. Come on, darling. You can look sure. Can you get a picture? Of course you can. Matilda. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You're going to get a picture? I don't know about this. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of them. You are beautiful. Thank you, my darling. Bye, everybody. Matilda, you did good. Thank you, my Very darling. Good, I Matilda. hope you enjoyed it. How was my dummy? Was Very it all right? Funniest guy ever. And you are pretty funny. Too. Thank you. <laughs>